All right, so if you are actually pretty good in basic math, well, this should be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. So let's take a look at the problem. We have 4 times 20 divided by 4 times 5 plus 1, all of this in parentheses. So the only rule here is no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. The correct answer here is 104. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. You're like, A must do too, math man. I got this wrong. I must be so bad in math. Well, don't despair. You are not bad in math, but you probably made a very common error. So let's see exactly how to solve this problem right now. All right, so how do we uh, do this problem? Okay, well, a couple things. First of all, we certainly need to know basic number operations, right? Like how to add numbers and multiply and divide. And of course, this is multiplication. But that's not really the key to doing this problem because I'm going to assume that you know how to deal with basic number operations. But uh, the key is knowing this, all right? And what is this? Well, this is a little mnemonic, a little phrase that uh, represents the correct order of operations. You see, in mathematics, we have these things called mathematical operators. It's what we can do with numbers, right? We can, what, add numbers, subtract numbers, multiply numbers, divide numbers. We could take powers, etc. But we need to know what order to do these things in, okay? So we have this thing called the order of operations. And you can remember it by this little phrase right here, PEMDAS. And uh, this little saying that goes with this is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm pretty sure even my grandparents way back in the good old 1950s were saying this uh, themselves. This uh, phrase has been around forever. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I don't know what Aunt Sally uh, was doing, but nevertheless, we thank her for her cool little phrase here. All right, let me go ahead and just quickly review how this works because this is uh, basically our checklist to get the correct order of operations because, uh, you know, depending on, you know, how, what order we take to do this problem, we're going to end up with different values. And, of course, there's only one correct value, one correct right answer. All right, so the P stands for parentheses. We're going to do everything inside parentheses, but the P really stands for grouping symbols. So if you have brackets or little... Uh, squiggly brackets like this. That's what the P is. I'm kind of going to go through this kind of uh, quickly because you want to challenge yourself um, with more challenge, um, difficult problems than this one right here that has, uh, you know, more sets of parentheses. But in this particular problem, we only have one set. So we'll talk more about the next step here in just one moment. But let me walk through the rest of this little uh, phrase here. Okay, so that's what the P stands for. E stands for exponents. So when you have a power like 2 squared, this little 2 up here is called an exponent, but you can think of the E as power. So we're going to be looking for things like this. Now here is the next step, and this is where so many people get this wrong. The next step you would think is going to be M, which most of you are like, what does that stand for? If you're thinking multiplication, then D uh, division, and then A addition, and S subtraction. You're on the right track, but most students, they know this phrase PEMDAS. They go, oh, I have to always do multiplication. And then once I do all the multiplication, then I do division, etc. That's not how this works, okay? What you want to do is think of this as a group, all right? So M and D. So you're going to do multiplication uh, or division, whatever comes first from left to right. So if you see multiplication, then division, from left to right, okay, you're going to do multiplication, then division. But if you see division and then multiplication, you're going to do the division next and then the multiplication. And you can see that's the situation we have at hand. And I bet you a lot of you said, oh, I got to do the multiplication first and did that, All right? And if you did that, I'm happy you made that mistake because that is a common error. But uh, anyways, we'll uh, see this in action here in a second. Uh, let's move on and finish this up. The A and S stands for addition and subtraction, and it works the same way whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so that is the order of operations, PEMDAS. And if you have a good solid understanding of that, now we can just apply this checklist to do, these, uh, to do this problem one step at a time. All right, let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I have is parentheses, right? 
So what does that mean? Uh, in terms of PEMDAS, it means go inside the parentheses, the innermost parentheses, uh, parentheses or grouping symbols. And in this particular problem, there's only one set of parentheses. So we're going to go inside of the parentheses and take care of all this stuff first. So we have to figure out uh, where to start uh, because it's, it's like a math problem within a math problem, right? I have 20 divided by 4 times 5 plus 1. Now I'm asking myself, all right, what do I do next, right? I'm going to have to figure out the correct operation. Do I do addition? Do I do multiplication? Or I do, uh, or do I do division? And again, just think about that PEMDAS checklist, uh, and you'll always get it right. All right, so let's go ahead and see the next step. So the next step is, of course, you're going to be thinking about PEMDAS. You're like, all right, I'm inside the parentheses. E, is there any powers in here? Nope, there's no powers. So is there multiplication and division? Yes, all right. What do I see first from left to right? I see the division first. So this is what I have to do uh, first, uh, not the multiplication. So 20 divided by 4, which, of course, is going to be 5. All right, so uh, at this stage of the problem, we have uh, for this uh, operation right here, this number outside of the parentheses is multiplication, just in case you didn't know that. All right, so 20 divided by 4 is 5. So you want to take one step, and your work should look like this. Now, remember, math is a language. You want to write things step by step by step. You don't want to be like, oh, here's the problem, here's the answer, and then like have a blank piece of paper. That's not good for you, your teacher, or anyone else. So just have the discipline to be neat and organized and just take things one step at a time. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're still inside of the parentheses. We're not done with the P with the PEMDAS, right? Because the P stands for get everything done, but we still have more work to do. So we have multiplication and addition. Hopefully it's pretty clear that we have to do the multiplication next. And indeed, that's what, uh, what we're going to do. But before we take that uh, step, I'm going to ask you, if you have not yet subscribed, it really, really does help me on YouTube uh, with that YouTube algorithm. So consider subscribing if you like my content and hit that notification button so you can get my latest content. I'm pretty much posting uh, math videos every day from basic to advanced math just because I love teaching math. Anyways, back to the problem. All right, so again, uh, we're not done with the P, the parentheses part here. So we're still working inside the parentheses. So we have 5 times 5 plus 1. It's pretty clear that multiplication is going to become uh, before addition. So 5 times 5 is 25. So now we have 4 times 25 plus 1. But again, we're not done inside the parentheses. So we just keep working inside of the parentheses until we are completely done. So 25 plus 1, of course, is 26. So now we're finally down to uh, this point in the problem. So 4, this again means multiplication. 4 times 26. Of course, you could do that, and you'll get 104. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.